Hey, everybody. This episode of the podcast is brought to you by Onnit.com, O-N-N-I-T. We are a human optimization website, and what we sell at Onnit is strength and conditioning equipment, supplements, healthy snacks, all different things that can help improve your body, including, as of today, the new Werewolf Legend Kettlebell. We have these new Legend Series kettlebells. If you've seen the other ones before, the... Uh, the Great Apes kettlebells and the Zombie kettlebells. We just came out with uh, the newest one, the Legend Bells, and it's <laughs> it's pretty fucking awesome. It's a 28 kilogram werewolf. So what is that? 54 pounds or something? Like that? How does that work? 2.2. 2, More than that. 60 pounds? Must be 60. It's close to 60. Something yeah, like that. Yeah. yeah, right on 60. Something. Is it? 62 60. pounds. Yeah, that sounds good. Yeah, we we suck at metric system. Remember when they tried to push that shit? Do do you remember? Yeah, the high school days. For sure, they were like, "It's the future." Fuck you, it is. We got the bombs, bitch. Inches, inches, pounds. It's a kilo. Go fuck yourself. Kilograms. Uh, anyway, um, the uh, the new one uh, that just came in stock is a uh, werewolf, the sixty two pound werewolf, and we have a bunch of other ones that are on the way. Uh, maybe a bigfoot. I'm not gonna lie to you. Might be coming. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> All the uh, kettlebells that we have, though, the the we have regular ones. You know, if you're not into fancy shit, uh, that uh, are just standard kettlebells. And then the the the, the primal bells and the the legend bells, the zombie bells. All those are three D mapped, and what that means is they're not just good looking; they're very functional. Um, they're designed so that they're they're completely balanced out. So when you're lifting them, there's no weird uh, balance points. If you uh, if you have ever worked out with kettlebells before, it's essentially like a bowling ball with a handle on it, and it's all about using your entire body as one individual unit to promote what they call functional fitness. And what that means is, you know, like if you just do bicep curls, that's great for doing bicep curls, but it's not going to necessarily help you run up a hill. It's not necessarily going to help you be able to do things physically, carry things better. Um, what what I'm concerned with and the kind of things that we sell it on it are all things that promote functional strength, complete body coordination strength, things that improve athleticism. So if you're involved in a sport, if you are doing martial arts or something along those lines, um, this is, in my opinion, the best strength and conditioning type workout you could ever do. Uh, we also sell all kinds of foods and supplements, including the new Warrior Bar, that is uh, organic buffalo, 14 grams of protein, 140 calories, super healthy for you. No bullshit in it, no MSG, no soy, no lactose, uh, no antibiotics or added hormones. 14 grams of protein and 140 calories with 4 grams of fat per serving. Excellent for runners, climbers, you know, anybody that wants to keep something that's really healthy and small, pack it, keep it with you. You, you can't get any better than these Warrior Bars. Uh, I fucking love these things. I, I, I seriously go through a box of them a week. We also, uh, hemp protein powder, uh, the new Hemp Force Bars, which are excellent as well. All this stuff's available at onnit.com. That's O-N-N-I-T. Use the code word ROGAN and you will save 10% off any and all supplements. We're also brought to you by DraftKings.com. Drafting, gra- what's that word? DraftKings. Mm. Need more coffee. That's what happens when I come here after I work out. My brain's like, what's going on? Why are we talking? DraftKings.com is uh, the newest sponsor. And if you're one of those dorks like Jamie over here, who's into fantasy football, we were not. I see dorks. We all love my friend. Hey, hey easy. We were in Denver, and and Jamie was in a panic. The kid was in a tizzy because he couldn't get online with his phone to make his choices for his fantasy football league. And him and his friends, they're they're so serious about this shit that they had to reset. You guys reset, right? You oh, reset yeah. the whole draft. They did it later, and I had to miss it. <laughs> so you got fucked oh, the I second got, time. I got super fucked. Okay, they got fucked the first time, and then you got fucked the second time. Yes. That's bullshit. You, you, you got it first. I'm, you, trying, I'm pushing for a redraft right now. I, I agree with you. I say we promote it on the podcast. <laughs> But what he's doing is just bullshit. What DraftKings.com <laughs> is doing, um, DraftKings.com, you can actually win money. Now, this is going to sound ridiculous. One player on DraftKings.com turned 11 bucks into $4,000 in one weekend. Another guy won 100 grand. 100 fucking grand. The first time ever playing. Now, ready for this? One player won a fucking million dollars in one day playing fantasy football. That sounds like I'm lying to you. I don't believe it, but I know it's true. It's definitely true. I know it's true, but I'm reading that. I'm like, what? You can make a fucking million dollars in a day playing fantasy football. 
It almost makes me want to play fantasy football. Almost. But I can't do it. I can't <laughs> I can't dig that deep into the dork drawer. <laughs> but if I could, I would do it at DraftKings.com. God damn. If you're into that kind of stuff, man, this is the fucking place for you. DraftKings.com has it wired. You can win huge cash this week. I might do it. You know, we should do it once. We should we do, do it. it. I should set up. It. Will you help me? I've got one. Okay. You need to help me. You need to help I'll me. I don't know who, who plays. Good? <laughs> that guy good? I would just... That I'm actually gonna, I'm going to be honest with you. I'll just go for all the black guys. That's the, the biggest blackest guys. <laughs> the, the strongest. That's a great strategy. Is that NFL. a good move? For the NFL, that'll work. That's all they do, right? Yes. Is that what they do? Yeah. <laughs> they seem to be better at it. <laughs> <laughs> there's like white linebackers that are good, right? Oh, there's a couple. One. I'm writing this piece because of the whole John Jones racism thing. I'm writing this whole piece about how when I was a kid, I used to root for white guys. Because it's totally true. I used to root for Jerry Cooney. Ray Mercer fucking cured me that shit when he beat the fuck out of Tommy Morrison. I'm like, I'm so done. We're only trying to root for <laughs> white guys. It just doesn't work out. Anyway, where was I? DraftKings.com. You can win fucking big cash, really big cash. Hurry and get a free entry into the Millionaire Maker event where first place. Oh, this is so crazy. The Millionaire Maker event, first place takes home a million dollars. That's crazy. I'm working on that. That's how you do it, week. though. They're, you're going to quit, huh? If you win a million bucks, I would never. You quit? I would never. I would never. Okay, good. I'll give you a raise, even if you win a million bucks. How about that? I'll take it. Head over to DraftKings.com right now and enter the promo code ROGAN to play free to become a millionaire. Could you imagine if you want a fucking million dollars by going to DraftKings.com right now using the promo code ROGAN for free? And you win a million bucks? DraftKings.com. Bigger events, bigger winnings, bigger millionaires. Enter Rogan for free entry now at DraftKings.com. That's Draft, D-A-R-A-F-T, Kings.com. If you don't know how to spell Kings, fuck off. Anyway, and last but not least, is that it? Ting. Oh, Ting. We're brought to you by Ting. Ting is the official provider, the official cell phone provider for this podcast. And uh, I have a Ting phone. I have it right here. It's the uh, Samsung Galaxy S5. And my bill just came in. This is uh, the first month of the of official use. My bill was 18 bucks. That shit's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. The average bill is mine's below the average bill because I don't really call anybody. I just text. But the average bill is $21. $21 for a monthly bill. What Ting is, is a cell phone provider that uses a Sprint backbone. So they rent time on Sprint, but then they do it entirely their way. No contracts, no early termination fees, no packages or bundling fees or any of that bullshit, no overage fees, and you only pay for what you use. Instead of having like a fixed bill every month where it's like, you know, whatever, you pay, you get 100 minutes or 50 bucks or whatever the fuck it is. Instead of doing that, it's not that cheap though, right? No, Nobody's that cheap. No. Whatever it is. Instead of having 100 minutes, if you had it like that and you only used 80 minutes, they're not giving you your money back for that 20 minutes that you didn't use. But with Ting, you only pay for what you use. If you use your phone call once, I mean, if you use your phone once in a month, you're going to have the most ridiculously small bill ever. If you use it every day, it'll be slightly larger, but it'll definitely be smaller than any other provider you're going to use it with. 98% of people would save money with Ting. That's pretty crazy. And again, we're talking about the Sprint backbone. So it's just like you have a, sp a phone on Sprint. You get the exact same coverage, including uh, 4G, you know, um, and all. they have all, uh, if you go to Ting, uh, rogan.ting.com, they have all the latest cell phones, including what I have, which is the uh, Samsung Galaxy S5, which I like it a lot. It's pretty fucking dope, and it's waterproof. It's water. They call it water resistant. <sighs> I think that's legalese, and it's because there's a little tab here on the bottom, and if you pop that tab, I guess water could get in there and you're fucked. But if you close that bitch up, like it's not that hard to do, then it's waterproof. Yeah, you can put it in the sink or something like. Oh that. yeah, you can throw it in the <laughs> pool. It's good for like a half an hour at the bottom of the pool. I'm not trying that, but. But if you did, it also has a, uh, one of those th thumbprint things. Press it here and you slide that bitch up and it recognizes your thumbprint. I like it. I love it. The, the screen's fucking awesome. And finally, uh, Apple came aboard. And I'm sure Ting will be carrying the, uh, the uh, Apple phones, uh, the new iPhones, once they have them, once they get them in stock. But like for right now, you can get the Samsung. Uh, we can get a, a bunch of different ones. You can even go old school if you want, if you're a cheap fuck. You can get the Samsung Galaxy S2 for 95 bucks. And uh, I have one of those. I, that was my first Ting phone. It's, fucking, it's a good phone. It's not a bad phone at all. You can get an iPhone 4 if you're a cheap fuck. You can get that for 137 bucks. 
or you can get an iPhone 5 for 250 bucks. Can't go wrong. And it's yours. You own it. That's it. There's no contracts. Meaning, when you buy a phone with most providers, what you're doing is you're, you're paying, like, if a phone, like, if you go to, you know, fill in the blank, whatever major provider, and you buy a phone that says the phone's 300 bucks, it's not really 300 bucks. It's probably six. And the other 300 bucks you have to pay over the course of your contract. So if you don't get cell phone service in your house and you're like, this sucks, I want to cancel and go with another brand, you can't do it. Because if you do cancel it, you owe them 300 bucks. It's kind of annoying. And you don't think about it while you do it. You just think, oh, that's $300, but it's not. With Ting, they don't have any of that bullshit. If you buy the phone, you have it, it's yours. If you want to cancel, you just cancel. That's it. Rogan.ting.com. Go there, save yourself 25 bucks off of any of their fantastic devices. All right, that's it. Tim Burnett from Solo Hunter is here. Why fuck around, Jamie? Cue the music. Joe Rogan Podcast, check it out. The Joe Rogan Experience. Train by day, Joe Rogan Podcast by night, all day. So, um, over the last couple of years, I've uh, really gotten into hunting. Uh, I went on my first hunting trip with Steve Rinella and uh, started watching a lot of hunting TV shows. Well, I've uh, kind of always watched a lot of them, but your show really stood out. And this is a show, uh, you guys on the Outdoor Channel? Of outdoor course, Channel. Outdoor yeah. Channel. Outdoor Channel, it's called um, Solo yeah. Hunter. And you go out there, you and uh, I've seen the ones with Remy Warren as well, mm -hmm. and by yourself, s just bring cameras, go to these remote locations, hike in, set up the cameras, and you're using your own cameras. You're, like, setting up the shots while you're aiming. Like, you're getting ready to shoot the animals, and you're setting everything. Like, you've got, like, crank little little handheld things here and GoPros, and it's got to make it very difficult. Yeah, to, it's annoying. <laughs> <laughs> it's a pain. To not just but. get out there and, and, you know, hunting is difficult enough. Creeping up on animals, stalking, getting into position is difficult enough. But I would imagine that being your own cameraman makes it, I mean, what's the, 50% 50, 50 harder, 100% harder? Uh, you know, the hunting part of it is the same. You're still hunting. And actually, it makes me a better hunter because I find that I'm a lot more uh, patient and a lot more relaxed about it and more deliberate in my hunting. So it's not just like, oh, I got a rifle. Like, all I got to do is get within 400 yards. It's like, no, I got a rifle and I got a camera and I got this. So I feel like I hunt better. 